This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. This video, let's look at Universal NER LLM for Named Entity Recognition. This work is from researchers at University of South California and Microsoft Research. What they have done over here is that they have used ChatGPT to annotate data, okay, to get entities from data. And then they do an instruction tuning of a LAMA 7 billion parameter model okay to do entity recognition so they call this as targeted distilling okay first we look at a demo and then we'll come into the technical details so here i have some text copied from wikipedia okay it talks about apple inc over here and the entity type which i want to detect is person so when i run this uh you know it says it identifies steve wozniak uh, you know uh, Steve Jobs, Ronald Wayne from this text over here. The Apple was founded by Steve Wozniak, Steve Jobs and Ronald Wayne. It detects that properly. Okay, now let us try out location. Okay. Yeah, now let us try out location over here. Let's submit. See what location gets defined. So, Cupertino, California. Okay, these are locations which have been identified from over here. Okay. You see Alphabet, Google, Meta, uh, Microsoft, right? So let's try out organization. And uh, output. Let's try out what happens. So Apple Inc, Apple, Alphabet, Google, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, Apple Computer Company, Apple Computer, Next. It has done a good job over here. Okay, so this was with you know um, normal entity recognition, right? Typical entities, right? Now let us try out a specialized clinical domain to see if it works. Okay, so I'll copy some clinical text over. Oh, I have some here. It I have some radiology report over here. Okay, yes, let me move it. And let me say I want to detect disease over here. And let me token it. Let's see what happens here. So it detects correctly prostate CA, history of prostate CA and low back pain, prostate cancer. So it detects the diseases which are present over here in this text. Okay. Now how about anatomy? See what gets detected here. See lumbosacral spine. Two views is not actually anatomy. Are uh, non rib bearing lumbar type vertebral bodies. Or spine L5 S1. Sacroiliac joints L5 uh, disc space. So it has detected some of the anatomy present in this text. So as you can see, this is a generic named entity recognition system that is why they have named it as universal ner okay so this is across different data uh, you know data sets and different entity types okay so now let's go into the technical details to see um, you know understand a little bit more about universal ner okay so what did they do over here they first created an instruction following data set for named entity recognition by prompting chat GPT. Okay. So this data set comprises 45889 input output pairs, almost 45k input output pairs, encompassing nearly 240k entities and 13k distinct entity types. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, generic entities from general domain like personal organization, location, right? And then you also have some kind of, you know, a specific things like clinical domain, medical condition, disease, things like that. Okay. They also have, uh, you know, country, uh, county is a subset of location and input device is a subset of product. So you also have hierarchical entities. Okay. So basically what they did was they used this kind of a data construction prompt. Okay. System messages, you are a helpful information extraction system. Prompt is given a passage, your task is to extract all entities and identify their entity types. The output should be, you know, list of tuples following the following format, entity type of entity. Okay. 
and the passage is your input passage. So using this prompt, they actually, uh, you know, prompted chat GPT to generate this instruction following data set for named entity recognition. Okay. Then what they did was they call this as mission focused instruction tuning, where they converted that uh, data into something like this, right? You know, um, using the la language model, it is presented with the passage as input. Then for each entity type that appears in the output, we transform it into a natural language question. Okay. For example, this is the text from the user. The assistant says, I have read this text. The user asks, what describes T1 in the text? The answer is Y1. Now Y1 is your goal truth or reference entity. So for all the entities present in this text, they create, you know, like this, a conversation style instruction tuning template. Okay, basically they create data like this, right? For all the passages of text. Okay. They also do some kind of negative sampling during tuning. Uh, they randomly sample negative entity types from the collection of all entities that do not appear in the passage and set expected output as null or empty JSON list. Okay. So that is what they do over here. Uh, so they have instruction tuned a llama model. Okay. That detail is not present over here but it was present in the paper. So when I looked at uh, the paper, it says we train models based on Llama 1. Okay. Um, right. Uh, so we perform evaluation by sampling up a close to 200 K passage query pairs from each data set and they used um, entity level micro F1 in the evaluation. So that is how they fine tuned the Llama on this particular, you know, data set created like this or instruction um, tuning uh, samples, okay? That is what they did over here, right? Now, uh, how does it perform? Okay, so the universal, they, uh, the universal NER benchmark comprises 43 NER data sets across nine domains, including general, biomedical, clinical, STEM, programming, social media, law, finance, and transportation domains. Okay, so here is an over, uh, uh, what do you call the distribution of these various data sets. Right, that's what they have shown over here, and they compare the performance of this model against ChatGPT, Vicuna 13 billion, Vicuna 7 billion models. Okay, they have both 7 billion and 13 billion models of universal NER, so which corresponds to say Llama 7 billion and Llama 30 billion models. Okay, which have been fine tuned on the data set for named entity recognition. Okay. Right. And here is the distribution of their uh, this thing. Okay. So for example, this I2B2 uh, DID has, you know, close to, uh, you know, this particular N2 uh, C2 uh, 2018 data set has close to 50 K instances. Okay. Whereas some of these data sets have smaller instances in terms of, you know, uh, entities. Okay. That is the distribution which is shown over here. So what they are saying is that for a fair comparison, we train universal using the same training data in this particular instruct UE 11 B is thing results are shown over here. So what they are saying is that this particular universal NER 7 billion model is better than bird base. Okay. As well as this instruct this particular model, okay, 11 billion model. That's what they're saying over here. Okay. Here are again examples, which they show over here. Right. So this is an interesting named entity recognition model. And this model is available on hugging face. Maybe I will create a collab notebook in the future where I'll try out by downloading this model and then prompting it and seeing what kind of results are coming out. Okay. For the time being, you can use this, uh, uh, demonstration, which is available in this website of universal NER, where you can input your text and see if the results are coming out as per your expectations. Okay. They also have this paper where they've explained more about the details of, you know, universal NER. Okay. So what they are saying over here as targeted distillation is nothing but using the larger model, which is chat GPT. Okay. To kind of annotate data and then create this uh, data set from which, uh, they create this mission focused instruction tuning data set. Okay. And then they train a, or then they fine tune a, a smaller Llama model. Okay. To perform named entity recognition. Further details are present in this paper. So I'll be putting the link to this universal NER webpage, the paper and the hugging face uh, page where you can download the models. 
you can check it out for yourself i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in a new video